Hey folks, since many of the newer viewers have seemed to notice, we're going to review the concept of the Earth-facing solar quiet. I coined this term back in 2012 and it describes the Sun ejecting CMEs predominantly away from the Earth, well beyond statistical expectations. We have had a lot of videos on this topic over the years, but it has been a while, so it makes sense to drop back in on this topic now. It begins with who first discovered this phenomenon, the Maunders. Yes, the same Maunders for whom the Maunder Grand Solar Minimum was named. In their famous book, they made note that the Earth appears to kill sunspots. During the period of the Maunder Minimum in the 1600s, sunspots cresting into view would decay, and there was a vastly lower amount of new sunspot production facing Earth compared to the departing limb. They couldn't have said it better. Earth kills sunspots. It's a very accurate description of what we are seeing. And now, we have the technology to know it also applies to solar flaring, filament eruptions, and CMEs overall. So we come to the key question. What is causing the Earth-facing solar quiet? Well, there are three ideas I keep seeing repeatedly coming up in the comments section. Is it some human technology? Is it the fact that Earth's magnetic field is weakening? Is it God, angels, or aliens, or something else protecting us? I believe these answers are all wrong in this case because here is what we know. Last time this happened, there was definitely not any kind of technology that could impact the sun. The fact that it also happened 400 years ago and likely in every grand minimum cycle tells us it's not our doing. It disappeared in the 1700s and didn't show up again until 2011. And so last time it happened, we know our magnetic field wasn't weakening. It was very strong. That's not the answer. We also know that when it happened last time, it brought on the Little Ice Age, which not only decimated several regions from the cold, but it caused disease, famine, and mass deaths across many parts of the world. So if God or angels or aliens are doing it, they weren't really protecting the Earth, were they? And in terms of the natural environment, this is not a good thing at all. So these options simply do not work. But I do have one idea, and folks, even I think it's kind of insane, but I'm going to share it anyway. What about consciousness? human consciousness, and to be more specific, the focus of that consciousness. Our brain waves are not confined to our heads, and even though they do weaken with distance, they are going out to the ends of the universe with every thought we have. So where am I going with this? Do you know what else happened 400 years ago? Everyone thought the Earth was the center of the universe, but then the heliocentric model came into the mix, and all of a sudden, for the first time, a major percentage of the world was seeing the sun in a new way and marveling at its power. Fast forward to 2010, who cares about the sun? Only about 3,000 scientists, that's it. But when SDO launched, it allowed us to see the sun in a new way, and all of a sudden, millions of people were marveling at the sun for the first time, astounded at its power. The new focus on the sun from millions of people, which hadn't happened in 400 years. Just like that, the sun is once again getting shy as the eyes are upon it. Like I said, I think this idea is thin, but it actually fits the evidence better than those other ideas. More importantly, the Earth-facing solar quiet is in fact back, just as it was 400 years ago. I hope this was informative and interesting, and I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.